Japan is quietly preparing for the future. While most of the world focuses on wars and headlines, Japan has just made a major move to protect its borders and sea routes. They've ordered 62 advanced surface surveillance radars. Yes, 62. But why so many? What do they do? And what does this tell us about Japan's military strategy? In today's video, let's break down this radar deal in simple language and understand what it means not just for Japan, but for the entire Indo-Pacific region. These radars are called JTPS-4, a type of ground-based surface surveillance radar system developed by NEC Corporation, a leading Japanese tech company. Now you may wonder, what exactly is a surface surveillance radar? In simple terms, this radar helps the military keep an eye on the ground and sea by constantly scanning and detecting any moving objects, whether it's a ship, a low-flying aircraft, or even vehicles. The JTPS-4 uses AESA technology that stands for Active Electronically Scanned Array. This is the same tech used in some of the world's most advanced fighter jets. It allows the radar to track multiple targets simultaneously and cover a large area without needing to rotate physically. It's fast, precise, and nearly impossible to jam. So, where is Japan planning to use these radars? Since 2015, Japan has been gradually deploying these systems at its Japan Air Self-Defense Force, or JSDF, bases. So far, six radar stations have been completed. Each location has two configurations. One radar gives a full 360-degree rotating coverage, and the other uses three fixed antennas that collectively cover all directions. Now Japan is adding 62 more units, which will likely be spread across key strategic points across the country especially near disputed or sensitive areas like the East China Sea and the southwestern islands close to Taiwan. This shows Japan is preparing for surveillance in both peacetime and crisis scenarios. But why is Japan doing this now? There's one word, China. Over the past few years, Chinese naval and air activity has increased significantly in the East China Sea and Pacific. There have been multiple cases of Chinese ships entering Japanese waters and even military aircraft flying close to Japanese airspace. Japan knows that it needs to be ready, not just with weapons, but with better awareness. And that starts with radar. This is part of Japan's larger plan to modernize its self-defense forces. You see, Japan has a pacifist constitution, but in recent years, it's been reinterpreting its defense laws to allow more active measures. This includes building a new missile force, increasing its defense budget, and now, improving surveillance and detection capabilities. Let's talk a bit more about the radar tech itself. The JTPS-4 operates in L-band and S-band frequencies. These bands are ideal for tracking objects over long distances and in bad weather. The ASA tech means it can track multiple objects with pinpoint accuracy, even small boats or drones. This gives Japan the power to detect potential threats before they get close. And because the system is modular and ground-based, it can be placed in remote areas, on islands, or even moved as needed. This flexibility is a huge advantage. So what does this mean for the region? Well, Japan is clearly signaling that it's taking regional tensions seriously. This radar order is not just about defense, it's about deterrence. When neighboring countries know that Japan can see everything that moves in and around its territory, they're less likely to take risks. It's a strategic move but also a peaceful one. It's about being ready, without being aggressive. And in a world where borders are more tense than ever, Japan is choosing to stay vigilant. This radar deal may not make global headlines but it's one of those silent shifts that tells us how seriously countries are preparing for uncertain futures.